The Dollars trilogies came out and kind of created this entire uh, new genre. After that, made it made a cottage industry out of Rome and, and Almeria, Spain. Um, Sergio Cabucci did his film Django, starring Franco Nero in 1966. Django! It became a smash all throughout uh, Europe and in particularly Asia and Latin America. It didn't play uh, that much in America and was actually banned until the 90s in England because it's so violent. The closest you could ever come to see Django in England was in uh, the, the movie uh, The Harder They Come with Jimmy Cliff. Uh, when Jimmy Cliff's on the run, he actually goes to a theater and watches Django. But the thing is, the movie, you know, it, it kicked up the violence and the surrealism and, and the brutality of Spaghetti Westerns to a new level. And it became so popular that there really only was one kind of genuine official uh, uh, sequel. It had Terrence Hill playing the character and uh, uh, Franco Rosati, one of the right screenwriters, wrote that script. And you could tell it's obviously supposed to be the same guy, except maybe a little earlier. But all the other Django, which is there's about 40 of them. Uh, it's not the same character. Uh, they just call them Django just because the name became so popular. A combattere la mia guerra. Franco Nero, from that point in time after Django, through the 60s and all through the 70s, him and Alain Delon were like the two most popular leading men in uh, Europe at that time. The Django movie was so popular that any movie that Franco Nero did was retitled Django something in Germany. <laughs> he did a whole series of uh, cop movies uh, directed by uh, Enzo G. Castorelli, the guy who directed the original Inglorious Bastards, including one called High Crime, which was sort of their French connection and started a whole uh, line of what they call policier movies in Italy. Well, but in Germany, it was called Django the Cop. Thank you. Franco Nero's in the movie, and it's a sequence where we actually have the two Django's in the same frame. And so I have uh, uh, Franco look at him, look him up and down, ask him his name. What's your name? Jamie says Django. Django. Can you spell it? And then he spells the whole thing, and then after he gets through spelling it, I go, yeah, I had him say. The D son. Nero looks at him and says, I, I know. know. I wanted to tell the story as a genre movie, as an exciting adventure. In this case, I wanted to do an exciting Western tale, uh, an almost odyssey uh, voyage that Django goes on journey to free his wife from the clutches of an evil empire, but use, uh, use antebellum South slavery as a backdrop for that adventure. 